everybody thanks for watching just a quick reminder that frequency and vibration is not available as well as the god of 2025 a lot of people have not seen the new uh videos no a lot of people sent emails that you're not getting the alerts from youtube i'm shadow banned so that's what happens with that whole thing but uh make sure if you're a never pay again member you also check your email send out emails to all never pay again members um it's a lot of new subscribers um a lot of people you wasn't able to get videos from podia podia was had all issue with podia and uh, we're working on a new platform now to get the videos out to never pay again members so i usually do a markup a catalog sale i'll do another one here so uh first hundred people you know 100 people that's all we can send that links out to is 100 people so make sure you guys grab it you get the entire catalog for 34.99 make sure you guys grab that it's only gonna be 100 people we're gonna send a link out to 100 and everybody who grabs it, make sure you understand it includes the stock market videos. The next DVD that's coming out is stock market and then the return of Saturn. Those are the next two DVDs, the return of Saturn and stock market is coming up next. Uh, the new uh, platform will be up for people to download. So you guys never pay members, you'll get that free. Uh, a lot of people hit, up, uh, hit me up about uh, Podia and the issue with download videos. I understand that. So take advantage of the sale. Now, the next uh, stock market video is really big important you guys be paying attention to uh what's happening with stocks and how everything is just it's going to be everything is on still like everything is going to be on pause for a while there's some things that's fluctuating or what have you but you know it's a big turnaround that's getting ready to happen because you know whenever there is a presidential election the market's gonna go crazy especially with everything that's looming around trump so you guys what you need to do we'll get into in the stock market video is pay attention to what Trump is investing in. Pay attention to what these billionaires is investing in. And this is public record. A lot of people don't understand that most people who make millions of dollars from the stock market, what happens with them is they follow these people. It's the whole thing with, you know, with Twitter and, and, and social media and just being smart enough to access public records is you can just really pay attention to what the billionaires are doing, what they're investing in, what they're concerned about, what they're putting uh, people on and building and putting money into. This is what you need to put money into. So we're going to get in into, into the stock market video. And it's not like you have to be a millionaire to do this. You can get in at a small, a low level. Um, it's what, like I said, it's one of the ways I know how to make money that's, that's good. I know how to do that because I was able to bounce back by investing in uh, certain stocks here and start building some money up again, you know, once my uh, accounts was frozen. So it helped out me, you know, having that knowledge to do so, and it helped out a lot. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about that in the next stock market video. It's, it's, it's definitely a big deal. And the return of Saturn, the next video after that is a deep video. It's a lot of stuff going on with Saturn, as I talked about in the last video, but it's a lot more to it. So we're going to get into that and um, in the next uh, video. But yeah, it's a lot of information uh, coming up. So we're going to get into so much. And, you know, I want to get into the economy in this video because, you know, the news is talking about Trump's America, what he wants to do. Also Biden, what he wants to do as far as the economy. People are unaware of the consequences of Biden spending so much money. And I talked about this, about what that whole thing is about, and how it's, it's crippling the economy, is plunging us further and further into debt. But again, as you guys know, it's, this is all what's supposed to happen. It's what they want. Uh, we're piling up so much debt. Now, the thing is, one, when Trump comes back, because I have a feeling he will be the next president, but, you know, there's always a plot twist with these people sometimes. So look for that. But if Trump comes back, um, you know, it's probably going to be another uh, stimulus package because Trump, if you're paying attention to what he's saying, he really wants to get money into the hands of the people. Trump's attitude on this whole thing is one of the reasons why people like him is he understand what's happening with the economy. And, you know, he's always getting into Biden. What is Biden doing? People are out here hurting. They starving or what have you. We need to change this. So everybody knows that the Republicans are about less government you know uh less programs for the people what have you and people think the republicans just want to cripple the the poor people what have you and, and poor people not realizing they're crippling themselves with the democrats and it's something that you know people believe or what i used to believe when i was younger is like you know they don't care about nobody the democrats are for black people they're trying to help us out and everything like that but it's far from the case when you really understand how deep that is that it's crippling a lot of people and a lot of people don't realize it kind of goes towards this whole mentality from a lot of women that's trying to find an easy way to survive. And it's like a lot of these women growing up, uh, especially the ones that grew up in the hood and was on welfare most of their life, they're used to having things handed to them. And that's what's happening. It's just 
the economy cannot withstand us putting out so much money. I mean, you got to really think about that. It's some people that need help, yes, but nobody should be on welfare for two, three, four, five, six, a decade. That is crippling to yourself, it's crippling to the economy. It should be a limit on that. And then when you say that, people are like, oh, oh no, you're being classes and you know, this and that. But it's like, what type of person is gonna be on welfare for so long? The number one thing that a person would need, especially a single mom, would be childcare. So if childcare is taken care of, most women can go work. And most women want to work because why would you want to sit back and be dependent on the government and the system? But you got to look at what they've been doing. One, you're giving black women, uh, you know, low income housing, you know, Section 8, what have you. So now they can go out in the suburbs or go out outside the uh, city or what have you and get a nice house. And then now they got a house that they're paying a little bit of money on. Then you're giving them food stamps. So now they can buy food. So it's like, now, what do they got time to do? They taking care of their kids. They got food to take care of that. They get money to take care of bills. Housing is taken care of. There's nothing left, left for them to do as far as, you know, uh, taking care of business. But if they just sit on that and not use that leg up, which that's a huge fucking leg up when you think about it, men will kill to have some shit like that. You know how far we would get if we had a, a roof over our head and bills being paid and food, you know, how much money we can save working or doing something else. But it gives you the time to go out and get your shit together when you got that going on. You know, get your shit together and go do something productive to show your kids that you're not just sitting around on welfare for your entire life. So when you start paying attention to the bills that they're pushing, as far as the Republicans, what they're talking about a lot is really, and I, and I said this before, they really want to get rid of the entire welfare program or make some major changes to it. Now, this is important because it's a lot of people that's dependent on that system. And it's like, you know, the wake up call for you to, you know, get it together to, to try to find something better uh, for yourself as far as uh, not relying on the system. And remember when they, when they uh, shut it down for a little bit, a lot of people was having problem getting food stamps, what have you. It was a big thing on social media about it. And, and I talked about it, you know, if you rely on somebody to give you your food, you got to remember that they can always take your food away. You allow somebody to pay your bills and pay for this and that and give you this whole lifestyle or what have you. They have control over you. They have power over you. They can take that away anyway. And it's simple to make this a case by case thing. There's some people who really need those benefits for certain reasons, uh, you know, whether it's medical or what have you. But, um, you know, it's just something that can be looked at to where, OK, you're able body. Your kid is walking and talking now can go to daycare. So you're, you have an ability now to go and work, you know, go pursue something. And, you know, welfare has been a crutch. It's been crippling black, black people for a long time. So it, keep, it's, it keeps us stagnant, you know, and, and not chasing any goals or, or dreams or what have you. And it's just, again, this is, I, I'm, I said this before, but all of this is being laid out in a Republican's whole point on changing the economic system as far as welfare program or what have you. They talk about all this. They talk about everything. They're making a real valid point and it's something that's going to get voted on at some point. And it's something that's going to happen. It's going to be a rude awakening to the people. And it's something that's going to have people pissed off and in the streets that you got to look for as far as with the riots. And we'll get into this. You understand what I mean? So think about it. Again, I said this before. Think about it. You know, next thing you know, they cut welfare they cut welfare, welfare is cut, or they give everybody a countdown clock, because I think this is coming. They give everybody a time frame. Okay, you have, you're gonna get a letter in the mail, they might not even make it major public, because that's the way I see them doing it. You get a letter in the mail, you get an email or what have you, because the more you put it on mainstream, the more people are gonna talk about it, unless that's what they want, which I think that's, that's what they want. But if it's on the news, hey, you know, they're gonna get rid of welfare in two weeks, and people getting letters in the mail saying, hey, your benefits is going to be cut by X amount. You know, hopefully they give people enough time. But think about if this happens, what does that mean for so many people? You got to get your ass up and go, go to work. You got to find a job. You got to find daycare. You got to do whatever. And it's going to be a rude awakening to a lot of people that's going to cause a lot of craziness in this country. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like Trump or don't want to vote for Trump for those reasons. But if you look at it from an economic standpoint, if we're being honest, because but we know they're not. But if we're being honest, that saves a lot of money. 
that's a lot of money that can go towards something else and they can use that. So yeah, you got to understand like the economy is doomed and it has to be for them to bring in this new, you know, uh, CBDC, this whole uh, gold and silver back currency that I talked about in the executive order that they're going to come in and take over if something happens with this cryptocurrency. This is something that's already outlined and talked about. So it's not as if people are not going to know. They're going to come in and they're going to change things. And it's already happening in some countries. You already have countries that's already back in there. Uh, CBDC by gold and silver is what's going to come. It's going to raise the price of gold and silver. It's going to be good for a lot of people. But we're heading in that direction. And it's something that might have to happen, you know, if there, as I talked about in uh, uh, frequency and vibration in the last two videos, you know, if there's a cyber attack coming or what have you, um, it's going to end up being that. But I mean, you got to look at it from a digital standpoint, too, as far as the whole cyber thing is digital. It's a digital currency. You know, it, it doesn't make sense to, you know, keep it going if it can be hacked or if somebody can, uh, you know, hit us with a cyber attack that's going to affect our currency. But it's something that the Dems are talking about and the Republicans are on because it's just when you start to look at everything that's going on, it's just so many things that it's, it's time is up. It needs to be done away with. Cash is one of the biggest things when you look at this the system we live in now where it's just so much more easy to do things digitally. Mm -hmm.